Hello, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. But first of all, I have got some news. I am going to be changing my channel's name. As of Monday the 8th of February, my channel will be called Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Shouldn't make a difference to you finding it if you've got the notifications it will just come up as normal but yes that will be my new channel name Georgie B's Cards and Stuff I find Georgie Burns a bit boring so that is what I'm going to do as of the 8th of February right let's get into this um, to make this card I am using Painted Poppies it's back um, peaceful moments just for the sentiment wishing you every happiness on the special this special day will bring and itty bitty birthdays just for birthday wishes the card stock is it's a square base or it was of 8 inches by 5.5 five and a quarter inches eight inches by five and a quarter inches and I scored it at two and three quarters no two and five eight sorry like that yes that was scored at two and five eights was that right two and a half yeah two and five eights so you get just a little flap. The reason I've used a square card is my daughter very kindly went to the range for me to go and get me some card bases and she came back with two packs of five and a quarter by five and a quarter. A hundred of them. So you'll be seeing me use this size now and again. I won't use them very often. Saying that, there's one next week and square card. Um, yeah, so until I can get some more of my 6x4s or A6s, wherever they're called, I'll be using some of these. Right, I have got now a red at 5 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8 for the inside. This is real red. And this is the poppy paper from Painted Poppies. And this is 5x5, five five, and that will go inside like that, there. I have, I'm all mixed up here, a piece of real red at 2, 2.5 by 5 inches. No, by 5 and 1 eighth, sorry. 2.5, a 2. Yeah, two and a half by five and one eighth, and then a piece of DSP at two and three eighths by five inches to go on there. Well, that's that. Now the inside is another little card. This is six inches by six inches by four and one eighth folded at three inches burnished then I've got two of these at two and seven eighths Hang on, let's start again. What was that with? Three and a quarter. So this is six and a half. Yeah. Right, start again. This is six and a half by three and a quarter. Scored at three inches. Three and six and a half by four and one eighth. Six and a half by four and one eighths, scored at three and a quarter. 
now I've got it. So we've got this, a quarter of an inch difference, so that's three and one eighth by four inches. And then this is three inches by two and oh, that's wrong one. That doesn't need it. That this one goes on the inside at the same three and one eighth by four inches. And then there's another piece at three and one eighth by four inches. So you need two white pieces at three and one eighth three and one eighth by four inches of the white cardstock and then of the DSP you need one at three and one eighth by four inches there. That's to go on the inside like that and then on the top you have one that is three inches by four inches now if that is on there like that, that's on there like that, then this should be one eighth of an inch smaller all round, which it is. And then you have another white piece, one eighth of an inch smaller all round, so that makes that three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. goes on there like that, or it will do, once it's glued on straight, there we are, and that will sit so we've got borders all the way round, right, what I'll do on this one because I've messed up the descriptions or sizes while talking to you. In the description below I will actually put the measurements. I will write it all in to make it easier if you want to follow this card. So we are going to stamp on that piece, on that piece and the other white piece. Right, and all the DSP pieces can actually go in now. So let's pop that in. Like that there. These are going to be Inked up like this piece. Can go on here. And then we can stick these two bits on our card front. That one goes on the side, front like that. And this one will go on the inside, making sure that you put it the right way up. Because all the flowers on it are all in one direction. We don't want the flowers upside down now, do we? Just reburnish that. Right. And this will glue on 
pipe there on the inside. Right, now the idea for this card came from one of my card pals, Moira. She sent me this card and I thought, it, well it is this card's, uh, this month's uh, choice. We've got two options. She's picked the second option for friend, friendly card, and opened it up and it's all about friendship and then inside it's a birthday card so I shouldn't really have opened it because by the time you see this oh no it'll be Wednesday this is on my birthday is the following Saturday so thank you Moira for that so this is where I've copied this idea from a lovely card so now we're going to get stamping Right, we want the smallest one, which is this one, where we're going to put the single uh, poppy, the one on the stem. And we're going to pop that in the middle, like that. There. to re-ink it because I'm happy with that. Put that to one side. Right on this one we're going to do is it, three poppies. So we're going to place one sideways and then we've got to mask it. Please say I kept the mask. I kept some. The second one is going to be like that. And then the third one is going to be down there like that. Let's just finish with this ink for now. I'm bringing in Old Olive and the little splatter dots that's in Painted Poppies, the small one that's on the side here. And in between the, the uh, poppies I am going to be stamping some greenery. Move this one over here. Like that. And we're going to do the same on this one. So we have got some greenery round the poppy. And we're going to bring this one back in and we're also going to add some greenery round the bottom of this poppy like that. Right, we've just got to colour these in. Two colours. Um, old olive light for the leaf and stem Not forgetting the bud Have a right steady hand for that. And then 
real red, that's not real red. That's real red. Don't like that end. Just colour these in. So, what do you all think of my new name then? Georgie B's card and stuff. Maybe you'll like it. Just going around the edge so I don't go over the edge when I colour it all in. I hope you're all keeping well. Having your vaccines when they're offered to you. That's my first one. Trouble is, you've got to wait so long for your second one. Lucky my husband and I never got any side effects from it, apart from a sore arm. And that only lasted, like we were injected Thursday, by Sunday it was all back to normal. So yeah, we were... Lucky. some workmen in my house this month I had my gas checked on in England landlords required to do a safety check on your gas each year and it was that time although I did legally have a um, reason to refuse it with me shielding We were all right. The gas man took precautions. And he had COVID in December. So he's the, he was the second person I knew who had COVID. This is taking ages. Um, And then we had to have the workmen in because we had a leak in our bathroom and the roof. And he had already had COVID in December. So 
so now I know three people who've had COVID. poppies coloured in. I'm just going to add to make the centre stick out some more. I am going to get my light smoky slate and just go over the dots. The centre pieces should I say. Make them stick out a little bit more. Right, that's that, that's that. Now we've got our sentiments to add. And I have got them here. And my versifying. And this is birthday wishes. I'll make sure I put this up the right way. Right, bring it in, make sure it's straight, and we're just going to run this across the middle at the bottom, like that. Birthday wishes, and this one I'm just going to place in the middle. was upside down in the end and now we glue all these in place so this one goes on this single red piece like that and This one goes on here. Oh, what way do I want it that way? I have to turn it round because of the way I put it down. So that was obviously going to go that way. And the inside piece on here right then this must get stuck on there and what I did I placed that in the gap I wanted it stuck slid it over the front And then placed it on my card in the middle, straight. And I think that's about it. So what I did, I opened it up and I glued all of the red around my finger. And then laid it back down again, quickly checking that it's straight. And lay this down again. about what I want, making it an eighth 
inch border all about. So put that on, giving me my eighth of an inch border, top, bottom, and side, and glue this down. Like so. Open it up and then you open it up. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe and you'll be notified. And if you press the bell icon, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.